Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here to try to start a project. <laughs> Y'all, it is very difficult to get a project going when someone up the road there, pretty close, is cutting trees or something. It's, it's a saw just, but they've stopped right now, so maybe maybe they're finished with what they were doing i hope so because i can't do a video with all that going on and i have y'all some coffee and it's in my beautiful butterfly cup i can't tell the lighting is not very well out here this is my cup uh my red bird cup i'm i'm drinking coffee it's not morning y'all it's afternoon I, it's a little chilly too chilly for me in the morning early you know because it's uh it's just a little too too cool for me i can't even tell if i'm the lighting is not good right here the sun is back there and it needs to be over there I wonder could I, no, I don't think that would work. <laughs> oh, I see a blue bird out there. Let me turn this camera around. Where is, oh, there he is. Oh, oh he flew. I, I, I hope I got that. Uh, there was a blue bird out there and I, I I tried to show y'all and he flew. I think, I, I don't know if the camera was on, I don't know. But anyway, uh, trying to get things done and things happening that you can't tolerate on me on your video. Like, oh, saws, it, big old sounding saws that's cutting trees down just as loud as it can be. So, I haven't heard it. Uh, in the last few minutes, maybe they're finished with what they're trying to do. But anyway, I was showing y'all my coffee. I have got to get out there and clean out my bird houses. I didn't know. I see three red birds sitting out there, just right out there. Uh, two males and a female. Oh, they're all over the place, but they're not up here much because I'm up here. Oh, my goodness, what I have to deal with. <laughs> Y'all, trying to figure out, oh, let me see, let me tell y'all what temperature it is. Let me ask Siri what, what, uh, what temperature it is today. Hey, Siri. Mm hmm What is the temperature right now, today? It's 63 degrees right now. Oh, thank you. That's awesome, 63 degrees, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. I got to calm down. I'm, when I'm trying to get my stuff together and trying to get out here, and then I get out here, and then this saw was up here going like nonstop. You know, he, uh, whoever it is up there, I don't even know who it was, but... They didn't know I was out here, and, and they probably wouldn't have stopped anyway. But anyway, they have stopped right now. And, oh, I see them. Oh, maybe they're leaving. I see something moving up there. It's in the woods up, up the road up there. I think they're leaving. Isn't that awesome? I am so proud. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord, for taking that away it's just <laughs> oh it's a blessing and and i need a blessing and we all need a blessing but y'all i don't want to bring up bad things but my grandson stephen hodges you know he has a youtube channel and he had little baby lambs and about eight he just had two to be born in the last week. 
uh, and he had some grown ones out there that were expecting two that was all in, due any day. Well, Stephen called me up on a Monday morning and, t and, and he was crying some dogs. He said a pack of dogs, a wild dog. I know they're not wild. All of them wasn't wild dogs, but they were still out there on the island. They swam out, the, the lambs were on an island and there was a, a bridge out there to it, that, a metal bridge that you walked out there and it had a gate on the end of it where they couldn't come across. Well, those vicious dogs swam out there and killed his lambs. He was so devastated and so upset, and I don't really like want to talk about it that much, but we've all been kind of down and so sad. One, two of the little babies were alive, and he got them and brought them in. One died because he was hurt. The other one he has it in the house bottle feeding it because it was still nursing. It was just born like last week. But y'all, tragedy, tragic things happen to people. It is awful that bad things happen to good people. Steven is trying to make a video, a uh, YouTube channel and, and be kind and sweet. He's giving away things. He's giving away crosses, bird houses, and all kind of stuff he's making. And he's shipping them out and uh, on his own. You know, he, he wasn't asking anyone for anything. But, you know, and this has really set him back. He's, he's really... He, he just put a video on today. Uh, he hadn't put one on since the tragedy happened. And so he's, he's back, but, and he's trying to take care of his little baby. He's named it and everything. He's got it in the house. <laughs> and it's jumping on the couch and it's jumping all around and following him around like he's, he's his mother. It's a little boy, and uh, that's. But you know, things happen, and it's it's devastating. But but you got to go on. You got to keep on and get over that tragedy because life goes on. Even though you go through a lot of tragedies in it, you have to go on, and I'm. I'm not going to dwell on this subject because it's not a pleasant subject. I want to spread joy like he does. He is a a joyful, appreciative person always. He wants to do things for people. And it's just awful that things like that happen, but it does. And so let me have a sip of this coffee. and. It's not bad cold out here. It's just a little chilly, not bad. It's it's bearable, you know. You don't have to have a coat on. Uh, seeing and would uplift them. This is not uplifting, y'all, I know. But it's not always this, this is happening. But I just wanted to let y'all know what we've been going through. And we're going to get over this. And, and we're going to uh, try to put that back in our minds so, and try to figure out a way he's going to try to figure out a way to uh, prevent that from happening he he says he's going to get some more lambs they are so pretty they're just white as snow and they're so gentle and, and, and they follow him around when he goes anywhere they just right behind him just running and they run and jump up on the couch and they run it around in the house <laughs> It's so sweet, uh, I'm telling you. 
It's the sweetest thing, but one survived out of all them. One, one little lamb survived. It's a little boy. And y'all, he came up last week. Uh, er, uh, I don't know if it was Wednesday or Thursday. I don't remember when it was, but anyway, last week. He came up, knocking on my door, and said he had my stuff up there for my picnic table. He made me a picnic table. Went and bought the wood, went and uh, cut it out and done part of it before it came over here, But and he finished it up. He said, you, you got some coffee? I said, oh, what was that? Now somebody's shooting up there. I hope they're not shooting this way. <laughs> Y'all. Country, country life is... Uh, you can expect anything from it, but usually it's not that bad. It's it's usually pretty calm, and and they are some people shoots guns around here and all kind of uh, that saw up there today. Anyway, I'm gonna get off of that subject. What was I telling y'all? Oh, he come in and he said, "You got some coffee?" I said, "No, I ha haven't made any yet." He said, "Where's your pot?" I said, "It's right there." It's clean. I'm going to make some coffee. I told him how to make it. He went over there and made the coffee. Got us a cup. He said, come on up here to the woods. I've got your picnic table up here in the woods. I'm going to uh, put it together, and we're going uh, and, and to do a video up here in the woods. It's, uh, it's The video is on, on his channel, Stephen Hodges. Anyway, now the school bus is up there. <laughs> <laughs> turning around <laughs> it brings children up there and then it turns around and it's backing up you hear it beeping lord have mercy <laughs> i'll be glad when it gets summertime so i can get out here earlier before all the everything gets to going and uh all kind of stuff and uh happening anyway uh what was i telling y'all oh he said let's go let's w go up here in the woods well went up there set up his stuff for his video and he he put the table together he had a screwdriver and had all kind of stuff and he put put the table together it's a, it's a table that's kind of long ways and he put benches on each side that's attached to the table well he got through doing that well he goes over there and gets out some pots and a, a boiler and a, a, a stove I said what are you doing now I'm going to cook you something y'all I've never had nobody to do nothing like that before, you know. He brought, he, he said, we're going to have some chili cheese dogs. Do you like chili cheese dogs? I said, yeah, I love them. I love everything. I don't, this is probably nothing that I don't really can't eat. But anyway, he gets out of all that stuff. He he cooks the our dinner out there. Y'all, I'm telling you, it is awesome to see a young man. He's not in his teens or 20s, but he's not old either. Well, I don't even know how old he is, really. I uh, can't even think. Y'all, I'm sorry. I can't think of that. Anyway, 
He he made us our chili cheese dog. He, had, he doesn't ask me for anything to bring out of my house. He gets everything he needs, puts it in his truck and brings it. Knives, forks, spoons, a drink, a plate, everything he brings it. I've never seen a young man like him. I've, I've never seen one that, that was just, and he is so thrilled over his YouTube channel. He is so thrilled that people have come over there. Some, uh, some of my YouTube family have went over to his channel and subscribed to him, and he is doing great. <laughs> he, is, he is so thrilled. He reads every comment. I try to read my comments, and I cannot get around to all of them to save my life. But anyway, that's enough of all that. I, I'm going to tell y'all. Oh, there's a red bird back there. They don't like for me to be out here, y'all. You know that. They they rather... I was not out here close to where they are. They don't come. I put a video up last week of the birds. I set up a camera right over there, and I took a video. They didn't know that... They didn't see me, so they were just free to come and go and eat and do what they wanted to do. They won't come right up here. They'll go back there, and they'll go out there, but they won't come this close to me. They're wild, and they don't they don't trust me, I don't guess. <laughs> but when I'm not out here, they show out. They are flying. You know, red birds are kind of aggressive birds. They flying into each other, and they eating, and they doing all kind of stuff, y'all. But anyway, what I'm out here doing is I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to... Oh, I forgot this, too. I, I'm forgetting everything. I got some daffodils that I picked. Oh, and they smell so good, y'all. They smell awesome. Oh, gracious. And it won't be long till spring, y'all. It won't be long. This is February the... I don't even know what... You know I do a video before I put it up. It is uh, February the 9th. It's on Wednesday. And I'm out here to tell y'all what I'm going to try to do it. I... I haven't been, uh, my thinking is not, is, I can't get my thoughts together with all the tragedies and all the stuff going on. I try to think up something that y'all would enjoy and that I could do and it would look good. So I've come up with something. It's not going to be nothing major, nothing, but it's something that I I want to do. And I don't, I really and truly don't know all that I'm going to do to it, but I'm going to do whatever comes up that I like and that I think y'all will like. My coffee's not as warm as it was. Well, this is what I'm going to do, y'all. Y'all, look. This is an old, old terracotta flower pot. It was sitting around there, and I went and picked it up. And it had a, it's got a crack in it right there. I don't know if you can see it's right there. It's uh I went and picked it up. This is what happened. It broke. 
But y'all, I can't remember how many years I've had this. But I am going to fix this. I'm going to fix this flower pot. Because I like to, I like old things. Y'all know that. <laughs> and I'm old and, and I got to like old stuff too. <laughs> but anyway, I, I like old things. I don't like to throw away broken things if I can help it. I like to fix it and bring it back to where it's usable and and I I don't have to throw it away. So y'all, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fix this flower pot. I just went and picked it up like like you pick up a flower pot like like you pick it up on the side and it's got a little rim here. I just picked up that rim. This came off because it was cracked. I said, oh no, my flower pot is broken and I've had it so long I don't guess it's got a date on it but I haven't bought a terracotta flower pot in I don't even know how many years. So I know it's old. So that's what I'm going to do, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to show y'all that. I think I'm going to take y'all up there and let y'all see my table in the woods. Would y'all like to do, see my table? <laughs> y'all might be done seeing it. I don't know, but anyway, I haven't videoed it. Uh, I haven't videoed it, so I, I think I'll I'll walk up there and I'll come right back and show y'all what I'm gonna do about this. How about that, y'all? Y'all know y'all are a blessing to me. Y'all are. Y'all are awesome. Awesome. Well, let me uh, turn the camera off, and I'm going to walk up there and show y'all my table and all that, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, y'all. Here, here's the path. This is where he brought the table. This is where he he made the bridges for my my path that was I'm hung up in a vine there's the there's the bridges right down there and there's another one way on down there further and this is this is some stumps that he used for a table to set his uh, cooker on. And this is the picnic table. Is that not awesome, y'all? That he, he made that. Y'all, this is, this is my picnic table that he made. He brought it all down here, had part of it put together so, so it wouldn't take so long, but he put it together down here, and it's in his video, and he cleaned off all this, there's all kind of vines and old grown up stuff all down here, he cleaned them off with his hands, he, he pulled up stuff, had briars all in his hands and everything, just cleaned it off where he could put this table here on a level surface lo and behold he got into poison ivy out here he didn't know you can't tell that it's here because the leaves are not on it but he he pulled the vine and uh the stalk that it was on probably broke it and got some of that stuff on him and he's highly allergic to poison and 
he got it all over in his eye. He was at the doctor's office. He had to get a shot because it was all, all around his eye and I uh, and other places too that he had touched and got. I guess he got that stuff off that poison on him and he was anyway. That got better. <laughs> we just had a lot of stuff, just all kind of things that could could happen. Will, has happened really but I just wanted to let y'all see this table and it is heavy you cannot you cannot lift it up I mean he, he said do not try to move this table by yourself because you can't do it and I and I believe it because I tried to and it is it's thick and he he I mean is this not awesome y'all for a grandson to and this is down in the woods y'all this is not up there at my house like oh uh, I don't know how far it is it's not far just up here in the woods you know I have a path well we made this path right here and and I got another path up there side of close to the house that goes to my mailbox but this is another path that I used to have uh, before it got grown up and I couldn't get back here. It just out, just got out of hand. I couldn't keep, I couldn't clean it out. It was just so many old thorny vines and everything in here, so I couldn't. And they some big trees down here. I'm telling you, some big trees. But I just wanted to let y'all see the table that my grandson made me and cooked my dinner and w had that stump over there right here and he cooked, set it over here. I sat over there and he sat over here. We just sitting out here in the woods eating and uh, drinking and <laughs> talking and just having a good time, just me and him, just two of us, that's all it was. And that's that's something a lot of people don't get to experience. And I I really have never experienced it to the degree that I am now. But he's enjoying doing things and doing things for people and it's just a really a blessing to have him and and have him trying to have a video YouTube channel that is blessing others he he gives away stuff he 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 gave me a cross he made me a little cross and a little cross keychain he gave he gave me that I got it on my keychain now and he's sending them out to people that send him the address or whatever I don't know how he's doing it but anyway he's a blessing and I'm telling you he's he's an honest caring he's not acting he's he's this is the way he is I'm gonna let I'm gonna go and walk and let y'all see the the other bridges uh, the frogs usually are croaking or whatever you call them what they do but they're not doing it now let me walk on down here and show you all the bridges. There may be some people watching that has not seen this. And this is nowhere close to my uh, to a house or nothing. It's just, let me turn it down. See, there's water right there and water right there. I had an old piece of bridge here, but it wasn't, wasn't good. Here's... Here's another one that's going across water. And there's where the water's coming from. There's the frog pond. This is what I had for a bridge. Just a board and a old log that it's nailed to. And this is a this is a I'm going to clean this out a little better. My Oh, and let me let y'all see this tree. It is 
woodpeckers have pecked holes in it all the way up it's it's, it's gonna fall and that's another big tree right over there y'all there's there's so much to see and so much to do in the woods look at this old old log that fell and it's it's deteriorating and it is good fertilizer in your flower pots to have a thing like this this is this is my other bridge this is it right here it's not it's boggy it's water down there if you step down there it would wet you so he put a bridge I had I, when we clean these woods out these are the old limbs and stuff that was out here and the, he threw them out here in the in the woods I dug them back out and I laid them across here and I was going to walk across them that's before I had the bridges well he come down here and looked he said grandma that right there ain't going to never work that's not no good thing for you to try to be walking across so he came down here to build these bridges. He done picked up all them limbs and stuff that I had put here for a bridge and threw them over there. And put put this nice wooden bridge here that's not going anywhere. I wish my frogs would sing a little bit. I like to hear frogs. <laughs> Okay, y'all. It's just, it's just awesome, y'all. I love the woods, and I know a lot of people probably think I might be crazy. I don't know, and I, I might be, but I like things like this. I like woods, and I like water, and I like swampy places, and and I sure do have. <laughs> I have some. Oh, something just moved the water over there. I wonder what that was. Might have been a frog jumped in, in the water. Okay, I'm going to go back down there to the house and finish uh, doing what I was doing before I came down here. <laughs> Is that not awesome, y'all? In the middle of the woods, a picnic table that nice. I mean, it is awesome. And y'all know, wood's not cheap. It's very expensive nowadays. And, but that, that's a nice picnic table to have. I'm going to come down here and drink my coffee and I'm going to bring a sandwich down here I, I, I'm gonna use it I, I mean there's no doubt that it won't get used down here because I walk down here anyway I like to walk in the woods there were so many trees down here when he first came down here and we cleaned out this they was all kind of trees and logs and mushrooms and we got it y'all this is I love this I love I love the swampy places there's my table down there all right I'm gonna I'm gonna head back this way I'll, I'll let y'all see it a little bit I won't let y'all watch it all the way to the house, but I'm going to try to show y'all a little bit how, how far it is from the house. I know some people probably 
do not care about all this stuff that I do. But some people do. Some people are homebound and, and they don't get to get out and see stuff like older people may like uh, stuff like this more than young people. But I like to make something that somebody don't get to see. And, and I'm going to show y'all something right here. Do y'all see that? That's my apple tree trying to bloom. And they're probably gonna get killed. Probably the cold is gonna kill the blooms. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm almost to the house now. Okay, y'all, I'm putting sand in here. This is one cup. I couldn't find my two cup thing. This is red Georgia sand. One, two, three. That's four. Four cups of Georgia sand and four cups of mortar mix. This is this is what I'm putting in here. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Where's my water? Stir it up a little. I'll do it with my hands. I got bubble gloves on. Okay. Now I'm going to put my water in there. Y'all know, this is 30 minutes drying. Okay, what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to put some cement on here. First time I've ever done this, this way.
Y'all, my camera just cut off a while ago. Sometime I didn't know that it cut off, but I'm just about uh, finished with it. To, it's got to dry now. And I'll come out here tomorrow sometime when it, when it's permissible for me to come out and it's not too awful cold. Y'all, this is the first time I've ever tried this. Which I never had one to break like this either. I never had one, but I'll watch from now on about how I pick up a pot. When you pick up a pot like from the side and it's got dirt in it I guess it could easily crack you know I didn't think about that but this one did but it was old but it's still gonna be usable I'm still gonna use this pot y'all see it's gonna it's gonna uh, it's gonna it's not gonna look like a terracotta I might can paint it to look like that I don't know but anyway this is this is it y'all I'm going I'm going to turn it off now and go in the house and it's getting late and and I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back tomorrow to check on it to see uh, if it's okay. I guess it'll be okay, you know, out here without anything on it. But I may cover it. I don't know yet. But we're going to see how it works out. So I'll see y'all. Oh, I haven't told y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching my videos. Thank y'all for watching my videos and sharing them and sharing them to Facebook and subscribing and all that that y'all do to help me. Uh, that is very much appreciated and I, I, I'm so thankful that I'm still able to get out here and do some things that I enjoy. This is the pot, y'all, and it's going, we'll see what, uh, what it looks like when it completely dries, but it'll be dry before in the morning. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Be blessed and have a good night. Good morning. It's been a while since I said good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here going to take the cover off of this pot that I redone yesterday, and it's awesome out here, y'all. It's, it's, it's morning, too. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Let me see what the temperature is for y'all. <laughs> hey, Siri. Hmm? What is the temperature? It's 55 degrees outside. Thank you. That's awesome. How awesome. 55 degrees. That's not bad. I mean, I would love for it to be a lot warmer, but, you know, this is what it is. And, and I'm out here to finish this project that I started yesterday. And I'm going to show y'all. Oh, I didn't bring y'all any coffee because I'm going to be working i'm not even gonna have time to drink mine if y'all don't mind getting you a cup of coffee and sip on it while while i'm working uh i i'm gonna i'm gonna have a little sip right now y'all yesterday when i was out here I saw a bluebird out there and after that I saw it might have been the same one I don't know it was it was another bluebird anyway so 
I came out here early this morning and went out there and took all the nests out of those houses. And, cause they, they don't like to, they will build a nest. They won't use another bird's nest. They'll build another nest on top of it. But, you know, it's been out there a while. So I, I took all of it out so they could start start building they are they are back i don't know where they go in the winter but they go somewhere they're not here but my red birds don't leave they they stay here they they don't ever leave and what well, they might i might not see them but they're not gone <laughs> like way off or nothing they're here they just hide out because these hawks around here i, I i'm what i'm gonna do y'all after I do this, I'm going to put up my birdhouse that I made out there. And I'm going to let y'all see me putting it up out here for the bluebirds. Because they're here. I can't wait any longer. It's got to be done because when, when, they're, when they come back, they're ready for a nest. They're looking for a place to uh, put their eggs and, and spend the summer. And having little babies, that is awesome. I can't wait. I love blue. I love my red birds. I love my blue birds too. I love them. They are so pretty. And they they don't eat my seeds. I, I probably told y'all this before, but I'm going to tell you. Somebody watching that didn't see it. <laughs> they eat insects. They, they do not come up here and eat my sunflower seeds black oil sunflower seeds they they don't eat those they eat insects and they feed their babies insects so okay i'm gonna take this plastic off now and let y'all see it if it's dry well i know it's dry because it dries in 30 minutes but i don't i guess it dries in in the winter in 30 minutes i don't know but anyway let me have another little sip of coffee get something to put my coffee on. I, I got it over here on the table right now so I can reach down and get it and drink it. And it's got beautiful sing the joy. Oh, it's got butterflies and red birds and I don't see a blue bird but I got blue birds. <laughs> I got some cups I think that's got a blue bird. They're flying all around. I can't keep my mind on my camera because I'm looking at all these birds. Okay, I'm going to take the cover off now. See what, see what we got. There's my pot. Y'all remember this was a terracotta broken, a whole side of it broken off. So I, I'm going to turn it over see what we got are y'all ready <laughs> i don't know if i'm ready or not <laughs> oh let me have a sip of coffee i hope it's okay let me stand up i can't do much but talk sitting down to be put some flowers in. Let me, I thought I, oh, I didn't bring my little chisel, I don't guess. Let me get it. 
so proud. It just turned out as good as it did. I'm just getting off the little uh, thin places it around it. I don't have a, I don't have a broken pot now. I have a pot that's, uh, can be used. Let me pour out this. There, there's the inside. It's still, you can see that little broken place right here, but it doesn't matter because it's, it's cement and it's not coming off. It's not going anywhere. And no. See what you can do, you can save old broken stuff. And and it'll be beautiful. Oh, how pretty. Oh, I'm gonna Paper somewhere. What I do? What did I do with it? <laughs> Good gracious! I can't keep up with nothing. Oh, here it is. No. <laughs> Stuff like this happens when you get old. You forget what to do. Good stuff. Don't throw away old stuff. You can you can uh, make something beautiful from it. Make it better than it probably was. Oh, uh, let me clean off my table. I don't think my little broom is out here. I think it's in the house. As usual, everything is not where I want it to be. Oh. Okay, I've got some paint here. I hope I hope it's okay. Let me shake it up. Here's some more. It's going to be, I want it to be sort of purplish looking. Uh, let me, let me try this one. I'm going to move my camera back some because I don't want that spray to get on my lens of my camera. My, I'm covering up my face, y'all.
Okay, y'all, I'm back. I have decided to paint some flowers on here. Gracious. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to do, y'all. I never know exactly what I'm going to do. That makes... That's because... You know, that makes one of a kind because there's nobody else probably <laughs> thought up that stuff to do uh, in their head and no, nobody else thinks like me. No way. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put some white flowers on here. Just some little flowers to brighten it up a little bit. And y'all know, I'm not a professional painter. I'm not a professional nothing, <laughs> y'all. Oh, that's pretty. Let me sort of get a little idea how far apart they need to be. Maybe one right here. They're not going to be perfect, I'm telling y'all, at all. I just, I just think it's too plain looking uh, for me. Can y'all see? Times. Some people don't like them. I love them. I love them. They are, I mean, they're music to my ears. Oh, how pretty! <laughs> oh! Anybody can do this, y'all. And it's not easy painting like this, you know, when it's setting up like this and all, but that's my setup out here, so. Ooh, I'm about to get around it. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put a few little leaves on it.
Y'all, when I get to working, I, I forget to talk. I got my mind on what I'm doing, and, and it's really hard to think. And when you got a, when you like me, you. Okay, y'all, my camera cut off, and I'm, I'm just still working on this, uh, these flowers. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to start putting some, uh, the centers in, in the flowers. Uh, I hope y'all can see it. Y'all, it has really turned out to be a beautiful day. I, I can tell y'all assuredly, this is one of a kind. There's no way <laughs> nobody else has got one just like this. Y'all, I don't even know what I'm going to do exactly when I come out here. I have an idea a little bit about what I'm going to do, but I really don't have it all planned out exactly. It just happens. Just I just let the Lord lead me, and 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 this this is what happens. It may not please everyone, but it pleases me. Brought something back from broken to restored. And the Lord can do that for y'all. He can take something broken. He can bring it back and make it better than it was. I know for a fact he can. So y'all... That's, that's my, uh, that's my flower pot, y'all. I, I, I think it's beautiful. I hope y'all like it. Uh, like I just said, I don't know. When I come out here, I have a thought, but I don't have it all planned out like what it's going to do. I just have a, a, a thought in my head that that I want, and my thoughts change, you know. <laughs> when, I, when I get to doing something, then I decide, well, that might look better 
if I do such and so whatever something else that I wasn't planning on. So that's what I do. I just do what comes up and what I think will look good. And and this is what it is, y'all. It's not the most beautiful pot in the world, but it's mine. And it's not broken anymore. It's it's restored. That makes me so happy to restore something that was broken. I, I'm so so thankful. That is that is a blessing to me to and this this is not just a pot, y'all. This is our lives too. We can be restored to better than we was if we let let the Lord lead us. So I'm going to go out here. Y'all, let me get, let me, I'll be right back. <laughs> I got my hammer and I got my, my nail and I've got this birdhouse that I made. I'm going to put it up out there for the bluebirds because they're ready for houses and this is going to be put up right now. So I'm going to turn it off till I get out there and then I'll be back. Okay y'all, here we go. We're going to put this up here on this uh, this place for these birds, these blue birds. didn't bring my hammer. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I can't keep up with nothing. I'm driving a nail down there where I can uh, put a piece of wire. something I need to do. Okay, I got it fixed now. I can see it from the house. Let me get down off this ladder before I break my neck. Okay, I'm going back up here to the house. I'm going to close up on it if I can. There it is. Bluebirds can come get in it now. I'm ready for them. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off till I get back to the house. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I'm back up here at my table. 
I put up my birdhouse. I made this pot. I've well, it wasn't today, but I've been up to the my uh, little picnic table in the woods, and this is. Oh, let me get my flowers over here. My little flowers that are blooming. It's it's about to be spring, y'all, and and it's it's uh the daffodils are trying. Oh, I got paint all over me. Y'all, uh, this is my finished project, y'all. This is it. I had no earthly idea exactly what I was going to do. I knew I was going to try to fix that this pot. And I was going to try to do it with cement, and I done the best I could do with it. And let me have a little sip of coffee, y'all. This is, this is my finished project, y'all. This is just what I do, and... And I'm so proud of it. I hope y'all like it. And y'all try this. I mean, any, well, I don't know if any pot would work, but a terracotta pot would work. Cement on it, and, and it's not going to fall apart either. <laughs> uh, it's, it's there to stay. It's repaired, and it's, redone and it's beautiful to me i hope y'all like it i hope y'all enjoyed this video uh i want to thank y'all so so much for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and thumbs up and share to facebook i have a lot of viewers on facebook that watch my videos and and I guess that counts, you know, whatever people on on uh, Facebook watch it. And I'm I'm just so blessed and so thankful for the kind, caring people y'all are. Y'all have blessed me so much. And thank y'all for watching my grandson Stephen Hodges' videos. Uh, he's he's. He's trying to do good, and he is doing good. He is doing awesome. He's a new he he is a new creator on YouTube, and he's just doing all kind of things. And his wife also is on YouTube, Ren Renee Hodges, and we're all just trying to make a difference. We're trying to. Uh, show the world how we live here in Georgia and I, I see a lot of other people's places where they live and all and I love watching other people's videos I watch them all the time so I guess I'm gonna be through with this I'm gonna show y'all my birdhouse it's I'm gonna turn it around and let y'all see where I put it I, I showed y'all when I was doing it but I'm gonna show you now where it, how it looks from here there it is right there out there it on the on it's on the telephone pole y'all <laughs> okay i'm gonna turn it back around i i know that i can see the bluebirds when they go in it from here easy so that's what i was wanting to do i was wanting to put it somewhere where i could see it which i got other ones out here let me let me show y'all my other ones wherever they are I like to look out and see them they're out here just flying around and doing their thing so I'm gonna get back over to the table now okay y'all I'm gonna say uh, goodbye for right now and I'll I hope y'all like this this is one of a kind and it's the only one in the world like it I know <laughs> I know nobody else hasn't got one like this, but oh, I didn't show y'all the inside. There it is.
so pretty. So pretty. Okay, for the one, for the last time, yo, <laughs> I'm gonna say thank y'all for watching, and and y'all are a blessing, and and we need to be a blessing to people. We need to be kind and caring as we can be because there are people out there that's needing a kind word from people and a kind act of kindness. And I would like to be a person to be known for trying to lift people up and not, and not tear them down because they are, people are already torn down a lot. It's, we have been through a lot with all this stuff going on and still going on. And, but we're still here and we're uh, doing great. And thank the Lord for the sunshine today and the blue skies. They are, it's, it's so blue. There's no clouds nowhere. It's just a blue, beautiful sky. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't, don't uh, forget about me and go away and not come back. <laughs> thank y'all so, so much. Be blessed and I love y'all. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye. <laughs>